Today I am here with Tom Skinner, who is the field representative of Resnor Heaters. We are in Londonderry, New Hampshire. It's fall and we're at Shady Hill Greenhouses and we are talking heaters. So at, since it's fall, it's getting colder outside. In this particular greenhouse, this is a 30 by 96. It's usually used for growing bedding plants. And as it gets colder, we need to keep the temperature in here warmer. So what are those considerations for adding a heating system to a greenhouse? Well, you would need to look at this, obviously the size of the house and mm -hmm. also uh, what the outside climactic conditions are going to be and what temperature you're trying to maintain inside the house. So those are the things that allow you to size the uh, BTU capacity. Okay, so this heater behind us, the, uh, what is this one in particular and, and um, you know, what is it best used for? This is a model UDAP 175, so it's 175,000 BTU. It's gas fired uh -huh. and it's an 83% efficiency heater. So what makes high efficiency heaters uh, different from another type of heater? Well, there are, this is a power vented unit and it has mm -hmm. spark ignition and it, uh, its seasonal efficiency is maintained up above 80% over the cycling during a, a winter's operation. Conventional heater is going to use a much larger diameter vent system, uh -huh. and that vent system is actually open from inside the house to outdoors, so it's always venting some heated air inside going right to the outside. So the seasonal efficiency of a conventional heater is probably 70%. Uh, so it's quite a bit higher in terms of seasonal operating efficiency. So if you're burning something like propane, you don't want to see that money going right out your flue. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Um, and then also just about sort of, you know, reliability and maintenance. Once the, these are easy to install and once they're up, they're pretty, you know, sort of idiot proof, ready to go. You can set the thermostat on them and walk away. Is that correct? That is correct. Yes. It's a very easy unit to install and uh, once it's piped and wired, uh, it should operate right away and should operate trouble free for a number of years. Great. And then there's also um, with the, you know, a certain length of greenhouse, you might want to have horizontal airflow fans to circulate that hot air through the tunnel. That is correct. And this one here, the fan on the heater is doing some of that air distribution and then there are additional horizontal fans that are circulating that air through. And this house also has two heaters, so it has some redundancy of of the uh, of the systems so in case one fails so you would hate for that to happen but you would have a, a you'd be uh saved in the end exactly correct? yes yeah. great um and i would say you know these are a great option for this sort of situation and uh there are other models out there as well that resnor sells that could fit a different situation is that correct that is correct right great right. well thank you for your time